Hey everyone, today we're going to be using Langchain to load up text files. We're then going to chunk those text files up using a uh, character text splitter. And then we're going to use uh, OpenAI's embeddings to embed those chunks and then store those uh, vector embeddings into Postgres database using PG Vector. So if you're a cheapskate like me and like storing stuff locally and running it all locally, this will work out well for you. So the first thing that we're going to want to do that I found to be the easiest is using a Docker image that already contains uh, Postgres with the PG vector extension um, installed in the image. So while that's getting pulled down, uh, we'll look over here. And then what I like to do is just create a simple Docker compose file with the image that we're looking to grab as well as just setting a couple environment variables. So we'll create a database called Langchain use the PG user as user password. Uh, 5432 is a pretty standard Postgres uh, port and then volumes in case you want to store data through the container restart. All right, so it looks like we got that image pulled down. And now what I can do is run a Docker compose up and it'll use that file we were just looking at. All right, the next thing that we're gonna to need to do is connect to that database server and run a couple scripts. So uh, the easiest way I found to do it is using the SQL tools extension. You can use uh, PG SQL or any other type of uh, database connector that you would like to use. Yeah, I'll call that Langchain database, Langchain. PG user, I'll store the password in plain text, why not? And I forgot what the password was. Uh, let's see, password, password, all right. And let's test this connection out. Sweet, successful. All right, so now we have a connection. So once we've connected to the database here, uh, really all we need to do is say create an extension if it doesn't exist for a vector. And what this will do is enable the PG vector extension on the Langchain database that we had selected earlier. And if we were to go back over to the SQL tools and just kind of open it up, uh, we'll refresh it just to be on the safe side, open it up. We can see now that it should have a couple functions with vectors and things of that nature in it. So we can see that the extension has been successfully imported or created over there. So what's next? All right, now we can get to actually using some of the Langchain code. So what we'll want to do here is we're going to want to import uh, the document loaders and using document loaders, we'll import the text loader. Using a uh, text splitter, we're gonna take the character text splitters and then uh, we'll use OpenAI for our embeddings and then PG vector out of the vector stores. So vector stores has a lot of other ways to store vectors. This is gonna be using the Postgres vector, uh, Postgres, the PG vector to store the data. And then, um, yeah, the document is what gets pulled out. So if we use it as a retrieval or uh, when we query uh, using the PG vector store. So then we're just gonna load up our environment variables, set the open API key, initialize and open AI embeddings. And then here we are uh, creating a connection string. So PG vector has a helper method here that uh, will create a connection string for the database. And so we're just giving it the the database uh, values that are required. And let me run that real quick. All right, the next thing that we're gonna wanna do is use the text loader. So we're gonna use the text loader to load up a, a text document. In this case, it's just gonna be the state of the union and load that up and get the document loaded into memory. And then we're gonna use the character splitter. And what this is doing is it's taking that one big large document and chunking it up into uh, documents roughly the size of a thousand characters. Uh, the chunk overlap, what that will allow us to do is, it's kind of nice when storing embedding vectors because then you can kind of um, not lose as much context when doing some searching, but we'll set it to zero for right now. Uh, that way we don't have context overlap also. And then what we're gonna do is we'll take that splitter and uh, split up that large document we had up here. So if I run this real quick, we can see at one point we had one document and now we have 45 smaller chunks of that document. 
And now what we're going to do is uh, use PG Vector to load up, take from those documents. It's going to use the OpenAI embeddings. And we give it a collection name. So the idea here is um, PG Vector uses this to do filtering. So what you can do is you can, oh, you can uh, specify a collection name. And then when I'm searching for documents and things of that nature, you can specify which collection of that document uh, that question may be appropriate for. So in this case, you know, if I'm asking questions about State of the Union, I would say, you know, I would pass in the collection name of State of the Union so it can filter down to those documents instead of having to query the whole database. And if I run this real quick, this should load up those documents and shove them into a shove them into the database. So if I go over here real quick. And now we have two new tables called one called the collection and one called embeddings. And if I open up this and just do a select real quick from Langchain embeddings, we should have some results come back. And there we go. So uh, you can see that it loaded in a whole bunch of embedding files or embedding vectors, uh, the parts of the document that, that, are, that they're relevant for, and then it embedded some data, uh, some metadata as well. So if we go back to our notebook here. So we've loaded up the documents and put them into our database, and now we're able to start asking questions. So we could say, what did the president say about the federal deficit? Give me a similar search. And uh, I don't know if I want to know the answer to this, but I'll run it anyway. And so now we got back a, a document with, uh, with scores. And then I'll just run this little thing to print them out here. So we can see here's one of the chunks that came back from questioning it. And we can see America's deficit, talking about the deficit. And it had a score of about 0.52. And uh, the metadata in this file is just was referencing where the location of the, the State of the Union file was. Uh, here's one that has a little bit more uh, context and just kind of talking a little bit more about the deficit. So that's one way to use the PG vector to load the documents into your database and be able to use that, that database as a simple querying engine. Uh, so another way, let's say we've already loaded it in and we want the, another application or something to, to just use that data to query off of. That's where we would just initialize a PG vector, pass it in the query string again, what you would use for your embedding. So again, we'll use OpenAI. And what this embedding function will do is it will embed each search query that we give it. So then it can then match off of it. Uh, again, the collection name. So here we're saying, hey, when searching for these documents, make sure you're only really searching out of the collection of State of the Unions and not out of all the other documents that may be loaded into this database. And then we're gonna to wanna to use, in this case, a cosine similarity, but there are other, other options for strategies. And the nice thing about this is uh, when we do run, the, when we create this store, there is a concept of as retriever. So it's gonna create a retriever object here and we can actually pass it in some variables. So in this case, we're saying, hey, only return one result Anytime I ask you a question, anytime I ask the retriever a question, it's only going to return one result. And so here again, uh, another example, we're going to ask the retriever, get any relevant documents for what did the president say about the federal deficit? So now it's going out into the database and it's pulling that information again. And here you can see we only got one result and it's the full document and that, well, it's the full chunk that was um, embedded that we're getting a result back from. So let me know if you guys have any other questions. Feel free to leave comments below. Appreciate it. Have a great night.